The breathtaking hills and mountains of West Virginia are Mother Nature's masterpiece. Picturesque peaks and roaring rivers are just a few of the reasons why this area is known as almost heaven. The state of West Virginia is also home to a group of very special artisans who produce handmade mouth-blown crystal. Each precious piece, a custom work of art, each mouth-blown creation truly is a masterpiece. Masterpiece Crystal. For more than eight decades, elegant handmade glassware has been crafted here in the bucolic community of Jane Lou, West Virginia. Certainly much has changed over that period in the glassware industry. Unfortunately, not all the changes have been good. Machine-made glassware has made this once treasured product nothing more than a commodity. Sure, automation's fine when it comes to making nuts and bolts, but each piece of masterpiece crystal represents a handmade work of art. Each piece is individually handcrafted and mouth-blown with the highest level of craftsmanship and care, unequaled by any machine-made commodity glass. Masterpiece Crystal on your table conveys your commitment to the best there is to offer in tabletop artistry, sophistication, and presentation. That's why you'll find Masterpiece Crystal products used in the White House, the Greenbrier Resort, Augusta National Golf Club, Fleming's Prime Steakhouses, and other world-class resorts and restaurants across the United States. In fine dining, you're looking at ways to be different, ways to be special, ways to distance yourself from the ordinary restaurants. The best glassware you can possibly afford to put on your table, you should. The wonderful thing about Masterpiece is that it doesn't have to cost as much as the European brands, and many times half as less. The creation of one piece of Masterpiece Crystal requires the coordinated effort of 10 glass workers and 10 unique processes. The first step is the creation of a mixture comprised primarily of sand, soda ash, and lime. Heated at 2600 degrees Fahrenheit for 24 hours, that mixture becomes a molten batter that is now ready for use by the artisans who will make it come to life. A gatherer extends the blowpipe into the flaming furnace and gathers the correct amount of glass without generating bubbles or other defects. While constantly rolling the pipe to preform and cool the molten mixture, the gatherer passes it on to the blower who continually rotates the pipe to keep the glass centered and to prevent the glass from running off the blowpipe. The artistic magic then begins as the blower first cuts a button which will allow for a glass stem to be pulled. Since the glass is cooling and hardening very rapidly, the blower only has one opportunity to make the stem before the working range of the glass is exceeded and the glass is frozen or set up. Once the stem is formed and fitted into the mold, the blower slowly blows into the pipe while constantly rotating the piece in the mold to ensure a smooth, seamless surface. The blower removes the piece from its mold and transfers it to the crack-off person who checks and straightens the piece before passing it to the stemware finisher who will apply the foot to the wine glass. The foot gatherer shapes the correct amount of molten glass on a rod called a punty. After shaping the glass, the foot gatherer presents the glass to the stemware finisher who applies the molten gob to the end of the stem. Again, the glass must be constantly rotated to avoid runoff. Using a tool called a clapper, the stemware finisher rolls the foot out to the exact size, aligns the foot to the stem and bowl, and cracks the fully blown piece from the blowpipe. The rapid cooling of the glass from its molten state develops stress in the piece, which must be relieved before further processing. That's accomplished through an annealing process, which reheats the glass and then slowly cools it in an oven called a lair. This 90-minute process relieves stress and prepares the glass for the first of four quality assurance inspections. If approved, the wine glass is sent to the finishing department where the overblow or moil at the top of the glass is removed. After being scored with a carbide wheel at the desired crack-off height and then heated with a hydrogen-oxygen flame, the piece is chilled with an air knife. The ensuing temperature shock induces a crack around the score line, which enables the moil to separate from the wine glass. The wine glass is then diamond ground into two different stages. The glass is inspected again, and if acceptable, is transported to the edge melter or continuous glazer, where fire polishes the top edge of the wine glass, restoring the shine to the top edge and smoothing the sharp edges. After a third inspection, the glass is then placed in a reannealing layer for additional stress relief before final inspection and packaging. The Masterpiece Crystal logo is sandblasted on the bottom of the wine glass under the button 
and then delicately wrapped in tissue paper and packed for shipment. All totaled, 10 different glass workers have coordinated this wine glasses creation through 10 different processes. The result is a customized work of art. The delicate balance and feel of American handmade crystal is unmatched by machine made glass and each piece is unique in its own small way. At Masterpiece Crystal, our products are not a commodity, but a work of art. With over 1,200 wine glass molds and 7,500 total molds, we can meet any of your tabletop requirements. The work of glass artisans is alive and flourishing at Masterpiece Crystal. Handmade, mouth-blown perfection is our passion and our promise. Masterpiece Crystal is ready to serve you. Each piece 100% handmade in the USA.